and welcome back to the second unboxing video of the week. If you haven't watched the video before this one, you need to click on that because there are discount codes, discount codes in there. So if you want something cheaper, you need to watch that video and then tell me what you saw. Anyway, um, in this video, we are unboxing a whole heap of awesome fish. I think I've got, oh, I don't even know what's turning up. I'm pretty sure there's different tetras turning up. I know there's a heap of neons and other cool stuff. There's probably some auto sinkless catfish. I'm sure there's other things. But anyway, we are going to look at some of the better fish we have available right now. Okay, well, while the purple dolphin feeds the better fish, we can have magical videos of the better fish available on the screen right now. How good is that? And the purple dolphin has magically disappeared. Um, on the screen though, is some of the better fish that we have currently available. How awesome are these guys? There are countless, countless really nice better fish. Um, so yeah, if you want some better fish, there is tons in stock. Um, these are all males on the screen at the moment, but we do have some really, really nice girls as well. Um, I might try and take a few little photos and videos of them later in this video. Um, but today we are unboxing lots of fishes. So was that better? Anyway, comment down below if the better fish are better to see like that. Oh God, it's so much better. <laughs> On to the unboxing. And the fishes have arrived. We have 500 fish in there, lots of tetras, but we have tons of gouramis. So apparently I ordered lots of gouramis, lots of sharks, and a few other weird things. So we are opening giant box number one. Apparently 497 fish, <laughs> not 500. Okay. So what we can do this time is we can do this. We can film our cherry barbs because they look like cherry barbs and I can put adult cherry barbs on the screen while we're looking at what is available. So we don't need to see them in tubs, but there we go. There is some cherry barbs. That's the first bag. And the next bag we have some dwarf garamis. They are freaking lovely little fish. So again, there is some photos on the screen. Or did I put a video on the screen? I'm not too sure because I haven't done that yet. Haha. -ha. We have some albino rainbow sharks. These guys do better one per tank because they will fight when they get a little bit bigger, but they are an all round awesome community fish. Baby silver sharks. So we have a few different sizes of these, but these are the little tiny guys. So smaller and cheaper and very cool. Schooling fish, exactly the same as all the other silver sharks. They are just babies. And in this bag, we have more albino corridors because we did sell out the other day. Very lovely little catfish. They're one of the cooler, more common corridors cats. Schooling again, and there is some photos on the screen or a video. I have no idea if I have a video or a photo, but you can see it now. <laughs> and we have rainbow sharks. Oh, they're a decent size. So these are the normal version of the albino ones, obviously. So they are a purpley body as opposed to the white body with the orange fins of the albinos. Exactly the same fish, just normal, not albino. And that looks like Pearl Garamis. They are awesome fish. Hopefully I can find a photo of a nice male Pearl Garami and stick that on the screen right now. But they are one of the cooler Garamis that are easy to get. Nice peaceful community fish. They get quite big, but they've got tiny little mouths, so they're not even going to eat Tetris. Very cool fish. And we have, oh, they're cool. More Dwarf Garamis, slightly different version again. These are all lion bred color varieties. Very cool little guys, look at them. And more garamis. These are honey dwarf garamis. They are lovely little fish. Super small, super peaceful, very cool. Really great fish if you want something that swims in the middle and the top of the tank in a community tank. Perfect with tetras, even guppies and all that sort of stuff. And we have Bavulian butterflies from Bolivia. <laughs> Bolivian butterflies. Um, they are like a ram, but bigger and slightly more pastel colors to them when they settle down. Kettle down, settle down. Yeah, Bavulian settle downs. That's what they are. There is a 
photo slash video on the screen. <laughs> wow. Two to go in this box. And we have Opaline Garamis. These are just a color variety of a blue free spot Garami. They'll go really nice blues, obviously. Light blue and dark blue. Again, a nice peaceful fish. They are not a dwarf, so they will get a decent size, like 12 centimeters, but tiny, tiny little mouths, so you can keep them with schools of Tetris and other cool fish like that. They are lovely fish. Not sure what that is. They're not bavulians. They look like, ah, oh, lemon Tetris. So these guys go fluorescent green. No, they don't, they go lemon because they are lemon Tetris. So photo on the screen, lovely, lovely peaceful little fish. They have a lovely red beady eye to them. Um, but yeah, all around nice, cool, peaceful fishes. And we have a better fish. I did not order better fish, but thank you very much for hitting my name on a better fish. It doesn't look like toilet paper and doesn't have red edges on the fins. Thank you for that, Jinx. <laughs> um, yes, we will get that out and have a look at that one up. And I will stick a video. Well, there's a video on the screen now of what it looks like. I haven't seen it yet because I am in the past and you are watching the future and this time at the same time. That's confusing. On to the next fish. <laughs> and we're up to box number two. Oh, there is lots of stuff in this box. Uh, what is in this bag? Oh, they are sparkling gouramis. They are tiny, tiny little fish. Um, very, very cool little pretty fish. Super, super small. They're fine with things like guppies and that. They don't get any bigger than about three to four centimeters. Lovely little things. And more balloon mollies. So again, these are the sort of genetic mutation of a normal molly, which makes them round and squat. Oh, there's some nice sail fins in there. Look at that one. So balloon molly is very cool fish. And red tail sharks. So these are the ones that are jet black, with the bright red tail. Once they settle in, they've obviously been in the bag for a few hours. So when they settle in, they are a really pretty fish, as you can see by the one on screen. Whoa, I can edit kind of. Um, yeah, really nice fish. One per tank as well, otherwise adults will fight to the death, even in a big tank. So if you don't want them stressed, just keep one per tank. <laughs> and more dwarf garamis. Oh, these guys are nice and red, so these are the red stripy ones. But another different colour variety of your common red dwarf garami, or just dwarf garami. These are not solid red, but they still have a bit of blue and stuff to them. Pretty fish. And they look like Otto Sinkless Catfish. So again, one of the really cool little dwarf sucker fish you can get. Nice and peaceful, perfect for community tanks of Tetras and heavily planted. They're not gonna destroy your plants. They're still gonna eat dying or dead plants, but healthy plants are gonna be left alone. Um, Otto Sinkless, yeah, South American fish, really cool little schooling catfish. Look at them, very cute. And I think we have a couple of bags of Neon Tetras. Lots of neons in there. I think these might be local bread as well. Well, bread up in cans. But there is a couple of bags of those. And more garamis. These are the three spot blue garamis. So they like the opalines, but these are the original color form. So in the wild, they're more of a brownie color, but these are the blue versions. So when they settle in, they'll get a lovely blue color. But again, you can see that because they're on the screen. Hoorah, very cool fish and more coral blue dwarf garamis. So we seem to have all the colors of dwarf garamis this time. So a few borgs, borgs of them, borgs. It's a new way that you pronounce bag. More garamis, three spots. And then I think we have more garamis. So hundreds of garamis. It is a good week to come in for garamis. So the better fish is freaking lovely. Um, it's also a female. So this is a gift from one of my wholesalers, thank you Jinx and Jinx's boss, because no doubt the boss has to say yes. Oh, does he even know about it? Will he even watch this video? <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yes, a lovely female. So I have no idea what I'm gonna breed her with yet, um, but yeah, it'd be worth it to breed her. She's a very cool fish, even if she does look like toilet paper with red edging. 
And as everyone knows, you don't really want to see red edging on your toilet paper. <laughs> oh, did I even say that? There may be a quiz about this video in the next video for a discount, so be warned. <laughs> anyway, um, how cool is she? That is a lovely, lovely female better fish. I'm sorry, she's not available. She is my better fish. Look at her, lovely, lovely fish. So hopefully that unboxing was a lot easier than the other one to watch. I think with the little pop-ups on the screen, it's a little bit easier to show you what the fish are uh, because it takes them a couple of days to get settled into the tanks. So lots and lots of better fish available, as you saw before. Dolphins are gone, is that a dolphin? Dolphins are gone. Um, any suggestions or anything like that about how to make these videos better, just comment down below. Otherwise, click the thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Um, also, yeah, if you haven't already, watch the last video because there is a discount code and that is available for all the fish you saw in this video and pretty much every fish in the shop. This expires this Monday, so you can figure out when it is because I'll have it written there. It expires then. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, um, yeah. Click the thumbs up, subscribe if you want to subscribe, that would be wonderful. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.